Here, I'm going to show you three tips for debugging your VBA code, your macros, to find that error as fast as possible, because sometimes it's a pesky little guy and it can be very difficult to figure out. And if you like this tutorial and you want to learn more, check out my full VBA course, and I'll put a link to it in the description below this video. Now, let's take a look at what we have here. This is an example where we have a table a worksheet or a dashboard or somewhere where we're going to perform a lookup. We have a series of values with numbers and values over here, so colors. And then we have worksheets that we want to loop through. And we want to get a value from a specified cell and then output a result right here. Now, this is a simple example. You can make it very, very complex. But the point is we're going to do some looping. We're going to do some looking upping. We're going to do some lookups. Now let's run this and see what happens. Alt F8 and max values run. All right, so data two looks good. 900 blue, 900 blue. Data one, 640, no result, but there was no error out here. What happened? Well, let's go to the code and take a look. Alt F11 and in module one, we have the match value sub. This is it. This is all the code. And we don't even have an error handler. So why didn't we get an error? And that brings me to my first tip, which is called step into or F8. So we click in the macro that we care about. And you can go to debug if you forget any of these shortcuts. And we see step into right there, F8. So we click in the macro, hit F8. And you'll see this little yellow highlight that says, hey, I'm about to run this line of code, which now is this procedure. So I hit F8 again. We're going to skip the declarations, all the variables, and we can step through every single line of code individually. Now, when we're setting these guys up here, so the variables, it's usually not that interesting. This for each usually isn't that interesting, but once we get to checking and comparing, that's where things get a little bit interesting. And this leads me to my next tip, which is how do we figure out what this is and what this is? And there's a couple different ways to that. We can hover over right here and you'll see ws.name equals table. And this one right here, wstable.name equals table. Since they're equal, when I hit F8, we're going to skip all of this code and go to the end if. And then we can hit F8 again, and we'll go back to the loop and then to the if. And this time, data1 does not equal table. But what if you don't want to hover over everything? Is there any other way to figure out what these guys are? And the answer is yes. We have a couple different options. So if you hit Control g or go to View, Immediate Window, you're going to get this guy down here. And we can basically ask it questions or run code. So question mark, I'm going to ask you a question. What is ws.name? Oh, it's data one. OK. And that can be a helpful little guy because we can keep it right here. So let's click in here and hit F8 to go down again. Now we're inside of the if statement and we're about to run the V lookup. So let's hover over this guy. What is that? 640. But I want to remember that because that was where I had the error. So I'm going to copy that, go down here. And the little error just said that it couldn't run the code because if you put the cursor after something like this and hit enter, it tries to run it. So that's all that was. So let's ask it a question, question mark that 640. So I know I'm dealing with 640 and I know it's on data one. All right. Now let's check out another way to see what's going on. If we go to a view and a locals a window, we are going to see all of the variables that we have created. So worksheet, worksheet table, range, lookup, and lookup result. And we can see right now that lookup result is empty. So let me just put this guy right at the top. And let's click down here and let's hit F8. And if you haven't noticed by now, what the yellow line means is this is the next line of code that we are going to run. So it hasn't run yet. A watch lookup result up here. It's empty. I hit F8. Error 2042. Okay. So I have found that this guy is causing an error. 
But why don't I have an error in my code? Why is everything so nice? I don't even have an error handler. <laughs> well, it's because of how I did this worksheet function here. And this setup right here, where you set it to a variant, and then you check if it's an error down here or not, allows you to avoid nasty errors with worksheet functions like the VLOOKUP when it can't find a match. Now, I talk uh, so much more about that in my full VBA course, so if you want to learn how to use these guys in a very nice professional way and learn so much more about VBA, then check out that course. Link to it in the description of this video. But that's why we didn't get the error down here, because this is if not is error. So if there is no error, do this. I don't have another line for, hey, if there's an error, do something. So I've now identified where the error is and why I didn't see an error. And I've identified the lookup value that causes the error, 640. Since there wasn't a VBA error for this line of code, like a little pop-up window, I can assume that all of this is okay. And the only two things that I should, or maybe three or four, that I should look at, it's right here inside the VLOOKUP. And I care about range b1.value, which looks good, 640. So how about range lookup? What's in this guy? Well, the locals window, I'm going to click up here and detach it so I can make it a bit bigger. Okay, let's get that guy. There we go. We can see the object variables up here with little plus signs, and we can expand them and get a lot and a lot of information about them. So here's the range lookup. Let's go down to a value, which here is going to be a value 2, so the new version of it. And I can expand that, and I can see all the values in this range. If this looks a little bit crazy, it's because it is an array. That's how you get a range into VBA. Well, I don't want to get too complicated and talk about arrays, but I covered a lot more in my full VBA course. The point is here, we can see everything that's in the lookup table. 345 red, 640 green, 900 blue. Okay, so that's great. I got a lot of information. And this can be very, very helpful. But here, it's not so helpful. Why isn't 640 returning green? Well, another thing you might want to do down here is to go ahead and grab... Actually, we don't have to grab this. We can just go pop a function around this to count how many characters are in this. See if there's any funky thing going on. Only three characters. So we have now done F8 to step through it. We have used the locals window. We have used the immediate window. We have hovered over elements here so that we can see its value. But we still haven't figured it out. I'm going to go ahead and finish stepping through it just so you can see how that works. And then we will finish this guy up. All right, so there was an error, so it doesn't run this. Then we go through and we run it one more time. Look up result for the match that it found and sub and we're done. So now we're finished going through this, but let's go ahead and figure out what our problem was, Alt F11. And this happens a lot in programming. You are going to spend so much time troubleshooting things. It just happens. So let's take a look at this. Everything looks good, 640 green. Okay, that's nice. 640, hmm. hmm. All right, let's take a closer look. Hmm, looks okay. What if I double click? Well, hello, apostrophe. <laughs> Those of you who work with VLOOKUP a lot probably have encountered this at one point or another. We have an apostrophe right here. Okay. What about here? Yep. And here? Yep. Okay. Well, let's see. Data 2. There we go. It's the same. And data 1 looks like the same. Looks like text. It's on the left. No apostrophe. So what somebody did is they stored this guy as text up here, but failed to put the apostrophe. So it turns out that we didn't actually have an error in our code. We had an error out here in the worksheet. So you went through all that trouble just to realize that that was the problem. And if we run it now, there's our green. <laughs> now, I want to give you one additional little tip. Let's hit Alt F11 
if you are running through your code, you're debugging it, let's say you have a lot of code up here, but you only want to get right here really quickly, go ahead to the left of it and click in the bar over here. Get the red dot and this line. What does that mean? That's a breakpoint. So we can click in the macro and then hit F5 or play, just run the macro. And when it gets to this point, no matter what, it's going to stop it and to let you step into everything and look at everything and troubleshoot. So we hit play and we go automatically there. We didn't have to cycle through the loop or anything like that. And everything from this point will work the same. I can hit F8 to continue going through it. I can open up the locals window, the immediate window. All of that is going to work. And that is my tips for how to debug your macro to find that pesky error. And if you want to learn more about this, click the link below the video to check out my full VBA course where I cover so, so, so much more and take you from beginner or intermediate to advanced and expert level.